Hello Z-Bird and welcome back to Pokemon Quest. And today we have a lot of stuff to do. First off, we got ourselves a little Dodo awaiting for us. Hi there, buddy. So you are level 46, not too bad. Nothing I really need. I think we already have a higher level Dodrio that has basically the same thing, but a little bit better. And then we have our 200 tickets we're gonna cash in. So we have 1,295 total tickets, which is pretty cool. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and move back and check out our four cooking pots, four golden cooking pots to open up. Just sort of doing one thing at a time. First we got our mulligan stew, and then yeah. So I have been training up, ooh, interesting set of Pokemon right there. I think it's Seal and Magikarp. Nice, I can use one of those for the Gyarados, which is you, level 86, whoa! Wait a minute, what is this move? This is Splash, the user Splash is in place. Maybe only Magikarp gets, that's pretty cool. And then we have Bounce, which is a flying move. The user bounces forward, high into the air twice, damaging enemies it hits. Pretty cool, because I know that Splash can do some good damage with that one Magikarp boss. And then we have the Seal with nothing really too crazy. You have Takedown, and you have Growl. Probably gonna use you for training. But I have been training up our current team. I think we even got Venusaur his eighth out of nine Power Stones. I don't know if we did that during the episode, though. Uh, but more importantly, we also got a couple, finally, more rainbow shells. I don't know how many, so I don't know if I'll be able to set up a full cooking pot, but I'm definitely gonna try. Uh, so we got Ponyta level 95, not so bad. I'll definitely use that for something. Definitely wanna try to level up, train some Pokemon today, obviously, and then we got some Mulligan Stew all the cube. This could have absolutely anything. It's gonna have a Grimer, I think. Not too bad, I'll take it. Yeah, I think it's Grimer. Yeah, that's his name, Grimer. He has, what is this? This is Acid Armor. The user alters its cellular structure to liquefy itself, reducing the damage it takes for a while. Wow, that's a complicated, complicated way to say he has poison armor. Um, Very cool. And then we got another Mulligan Stew. Maybe it'll be something super cool. Maybe another Eevee. That'd be cool. I've been leveling up Eevees in the last couple episodes. Oh, well, some familiar faces, but still some good faces as well. We have ourselves uh, Horsey and Magnemite. Starting with the Horsey, we have Whirlpool, which is okay. And then we also have over here, uh, Magnemite with some interesting moves. You first off have Electro Web. The user sprouts an electric net out directly in front of itself, lowering the movement speed of enemies hit by it for a while, and then charge. The user stores of electricity, raising the damage it deals and making it resistant to negative effects for a while. Eh, some okay moves, I suppose. I mean, my Magneton is level 100, so we don't quite need him. We could just go ahead and do some different stuff. In the meantime, I have 999 of all of these materials, so if I could just go ahead and Get rid of some of them, that'd be great. So let's just go ahead and do that for the next couple rounds. It'll make it for some pretty quick cooking pots as well. It'll only take four turns, so that's always nice. So we'll take that, you know, as much as we can get. So we'll just do this for all four of the smaller ingredients to start today's episode off. That way they can all get down to 899. And at that rate, you know, we'll be able to have some room to earn more of them back up. Let's go ahead and turn this into a golden cooking pot as well. Get it full of the apricorns, which should attract a yellow Pokemon. You never know what we might attract, but of course, it does depend on the quality ingredients. I don't think we'll attract like a Pikachu out of this. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, I definitely have to start making cooking pots that are going to appeal to specific Pokemon soon enough because you know that's what we need. But as you can see, in total we have, ooh, 15. So we could try what some people have been suggesting. Uh, should we do that now or should we do that? We should do that later in today's episode, right? Actually, we're doing it now. Send that stuff back. Turn this back into a normal cooking pot. We want to do three on the bottom and two on the top. This might be totally not worth it, but we're going to try it and see what ends up happening. Some people say this gives a higher chance of some of the harder to get legendaries. Luckily, it didn't take me very long to get these. It was actually just very lucky. I was just playing a lot. We could do a full cooking pot of them, but I don't think that's a good idea. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep it like this. Uh, and we'll see how things go. We'll keep on training and try to get more and more. Actually, I might have not have been able to get a full cooking pot. Maybe all but one. Don't really know. So we could just keep things like this. The last thing I wanna do is poke around with our power stones. I know we have some very powerful power stones at the moment. So I wanna figure that out really quickly. So who has the weakest power stones out of our, our bunch right now? It's probably going to be Jinx. Um, well, she has this 920 down here, which we can either turn into this 944 or the 948. I think we wanna do the 944. She already has a lot of health related things, so I don't think she needs it too much. Um, if she wants just like a flat health boost, she can get this 924 or 925. She has this heat healing right now, which I guess we should give her this. This has been sitting here probably for a while then. Um, but uh, the problem with that, I guess there isn't too much of a problem with that. 
You know what we could do is give it a bit of a switcheroo, can't we? What does Venusaur have? Venusaur has the health stone that has hit healing, but does he have any damage stones that have hit healing? He doesn't, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him a flat upgrade from his critical hit rate right here. Or actually, no, we should just do the hit healing 2.7. We can boost that to a hit healing 2.5 with healing from KO and movement speed. Those things aren't as exciting, but at least he's getting like a 300 damage bonus there. Then he doesn't need this hit healing as much, right? I mean, I guess he still sort of needs it. He'll be going down a good percentage. A little hard to say. Um. I don't really know if we're doing anything too crazy for anybody else then. Okay. Hmm. Do we have any other hit healing? That's a really nice stone though. I'm glad we have it. There's that 2.4% hit healing for 894 that nobody has equipped. I'm sure we could give that to Jinx. I mean, what do you have? I mean, you had the 608, which has the 1.7% hit healing. So yeah, why not give her a couple hundred health boost and along with it, an extra percentage on that hit healing. Like that just sounds like a no-brainer. Um, when it comes to other health stones maybe floating around. Well, also, what about the 734? This is just golden, you know, which is good. But if we could have a higher golden one or even movement speed, critical hit rate, hmm. Would it be better for just to have straight up 200 more damage? Potentially. Uh, I think that's what we're gonna go for, is we're just gonna go ahead and make her straight up have tons more damage and maybe she won't need the critical hit rate as much. She doesn't attack very often, to be honest with you, so I think it's gonna balance out to be just fine. And we can give her another almost, yeah, 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 about, almost like 37 damage about. If we wanted her to be a little bit more resistant, compared to what? Okay, well, you know what? Yeah, that's a fine trade. Go ahead and do that, and then let's move backwards and take a look at some of the other guys we have. Cause I'm sure we can make something else work as well with some of these other Pokemon. I mean, I'm looking for your last slot there, but you have a lot of base stuff, right? So do you have anything less than 934? Yes, you do. And that seems like we're the best one to get out of you unless we want to sacrifice movement speed. I mean, you don't have too much of a hit healing as you can tell. Well, there's only so much I can do, right? So I think that's pretty good. The only better thing I can, oh wait, 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 no, we can improve your health at the least. We can go ahead and give you this. And then this is resistance to negative effects, movement speed. I think this might be worth sacrificing the health for. You're still over 4,000 health, so I think it's fine. And finally, Venusaur, I don't think there's anything too much we can do to improve your setup at this point. We were already poking around before. Um, unless we wanted to you know, reduce your critical hit rate by 27% though, like that's a lot of critical hit. The only thing I can imagine is we do have a couple of silver, silver damages over this way. And I guess not really too many. But we might have something that might be worth our while, but it isn't looking like it, no, okay. Well, we, we checked what we could. I think that's the best we're gonna get. It's definitely, I think, an overall improvement. We just configured things in a way that might be a little bit more effective. So with that being said, we gotta get back in four rounds here and then seven rounds for the rest of it. Check out our quest really quickly and we'll get into the action. Um, yeah, just our challenge stuff. We got a little bit more icy rocks and a little bit more ball mushrooms. Sounds awesome to me, so let's get into action. I wanna try to tackle 12-8 a little bit in today's episode, see if I can't push for that in this team, seeing how we now have that damage stone that will help us get things done a little bit more effective, I think. So let's try to find that. 12-8, um, 35,000, I mean, the last time we beat this, we had a score of 24,000, so it's doable. We just need to make sure we have an effective team. And when we do have some more water type Pokemon we've gotten in today's episode. So I'm hoping that maybe we could use those to maybe get a better move on Starmie that isn't Twister. If we could finally get that Hydro Pump, that might be amazing. So that might be something we try to do in today's episode is just try to get that Hydro Pump or maybe we'll get the world's best legendary Pokemon of all time and I'll be jumping out of my seat and I'm like, woohoo! I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. That's the fun thing is that nobody knows until it happens. All right, so, uh, we got Fine Whip right now. That missed, that went right between you two, didn't it? So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely curious to try to get Hydro Pump. I just don't know if it's gonna work or not. So, Twister, Fine Whip, please. It's not working. It's, I'm pressing the button. There, there it goes, and it didn't hit again. Good job. <laughs> okay, so, Tackle. Okay, the Tackle finished him off, not too bad. So first wave, no problem. This is actually turning out really well so far. 
Let's go ahead and put the twister on. But yeah, just to reiterate, you can get a rainbow shell from I think any level in World 12. I think the earlier you're going at it, the less likely it is, because on 12.7, I was getting it surprisingly often, some hours, and then not so much other. I mean, I didn't play for hours and hours. I played as much as I could, but that wasn't too much time. But enough to get me 15 shells in a surprisingly quick time for comparatively to how much I've gotten before that, you know? Because before that, I'd only gotten seven, so I'd gotten 14 more because I spent six of them. That was, you know, pretty good, pretty productive, if you ask me. Metapod has so much health. Come on, beat him up, he's almost down. Just hit him a couple more times, just with whatever you got. And let's just tackle him. That should be good. Then the tackle is a little bit lower of a cooldown than Vine Whip, which is why I've been using it like that. There we go, we finished him off. So, that's wave two done. We have three minutes to get wave three and four completed. Okay, so we got Raticate. Oh, this whole team of like Raticate and Radatas. I don't know why, always such a pain in the butt to get rid of. Like this usually eats up all of our time. Okay, well, we'll do what we can. That's why I really wanna see that Hydro Pump. It seems like it has a lot of effective damage, and that's really exciting. I mean, the Twister sort of has, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but at least it hits a lot of targets if angled correctly. But I think we've had Hydro Pump once before with Seedra, maybe? And I felt like it was a little bit easier to land. So let's do Twister, and everybody's been telling me, you gotta get a, a Starmie with a Hydro Pump. I don't know what's so good about it, Maybe just Starmie has particularly good stats for a water type and Hydro Pump is a particularly good move. You know, like that combination is just super effective. Let's get rid of this dude, come on. He's almost down. Hit him once, hit him once. Got it, okay, so two and a half minutes for the boss fight. Oh no, it's you guys, the party poopers are in town. I mean, I love Eevee and I love her evolutions, but I don't love this boss fight very much because it's very challenging. Come on, come on. Let's just all hit Eevee. That was not hitting Eevee. Because if we could just focus on Eevee, everybody else runs away once we beat her, remember? Come on. Okay, that landed. Oh, she's less than half health right now. That is all kinds of beautiful. Okay, so right now, Venusaur is focusing on the fake one, so I just need to make sure we time his Vine Whip as well as we can every other time. But it also gets really low, so I just have to hit things, you know? Come on, come on, come on. Ready, Twister. Okay, we just need to do Vine Whip right now. Oh, that actually landed, awesome. Come on, we can do this. A minute and 45 seconds, as long as our time, our team doesn't get taken out. Oh, we should be fine. Eevee's so low, there goes Starmie though. Bad timing, his Twister was almost back up. Oh, that hit you though. That hit you, what you gonna do about it? Nothing, please. Okay, hold on, turn around please. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Venusaur, turn around. Dude, what was that? Come on, no, 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 no. Oh, we're so close to winning, you can't lose right now. Gosh darn it, Venusaur, you're a dingus. You just box with the Eevee, Jinx. Keep doing it. Okay, we got the Twister, coming in, coming in. Ooh, that got you a little bit. Get you a little bit more. Yes, we got her. Okay, her little friends can run away. I don't care, look at them. They're like, ah, that one just moonwalked. The Flareon moonwalked out of there. Okay, so that was some very awesome stuff. Level 95, almost for Starmie. We're getting through level 85 for uh, Venusaur. Got 777, that's, that's okay. Not too much damage. All right, so there's that done. We can keep moving now, or we could try to push it a little bit. Could we beat the boss with this combo? I don't think so, but you know, since we haven't tried it in a little while, I might as well sort of like test the waters a little bit, see how effective we are. I don't think something like this is gonna work before we get Hydro Pump or just like a better move for Starmie, whatever else that might be. Uh, but we got you know some crazy stuff to deal with right away. We got Gyarados. Nice stuff. Try to hit the Vine Whip. Okay, the Vine Whip sort of landed, which is good. Come on, keep going, everybody. Keep going. That wasn't too bad. We got the Twister. So this is like not a ton of damage at the moment, but we also have five minutes to get through the four waves. If we could actually get past wave three, though, keep in mind, that'll be the farthest we've ever made it. So even if we can just destroy the three legendary birds, that'll be fantastic progress for us. So that's what we'll work on and sort of see what ends up happening. Um, Come on now, come on now. Fine whip on the Gyarados, and the Gyarados is down, not bad, actually. And we got ourselves some shells, yes, awesome. That's really good, I'm so excited about that. So we got at least one or two there, which is big. Like I might not seem like a lot, but it's a lot. Okay, he's about to explode, so can somebody please take him out before he does that? Oh, of course not. Luckily, he didn't do too much damage. So beat him up, maybe we'll even get another shell. Uh, not quite. That's okay, that's okay, you can't get it every time. Okay, so we got Vile Plume, we have um, Magikarp, oh boy. That's not good, go ahead and get rid of Magikarp. 
Got him. Okay, was using the wrong Pokemon. Trying to make Venusaur do Vine Whip and I was not pressing the correct buttons. Okay, got that a little bit more. So Magikarp is getting low on health. See, it's nice when he can get that good spread shot with the Twister, it just doesn't happen often. Okay, so you're gonna do your psychic move, which stinks, but only so much I can do about it. Hit this so we can focus on the Vile Pool now who is taking practically no damage. Oh, that hurt a little. Okay, get the Aurora Veil back on, everybody group up and beat this guy up. Come on, come on, come on, ready? Boom, not bad, not bad. Dodge that, please. Okay, the only person that really hit was a Venusaur there, I think, and he doesn't take too much damage from it. I don't know why you're doing Twister right now. I didn't tell you to do that. Look, it's unchosen. Oh well, well now it's on cooldown. Oh, that sort of could have done better. Oh, he's just doing it again and again. What a jerk. Come on, ready? Oh, you're almost down. That should help. And that also helps, but not quite enough. Just tackle. I missed a tackle. Come on. <laughs> oh, we almost got you. So if we could just beat, oh, should have just done Vine Web. That should have been enough though. So if we could just beat these three in the two and a half minutes, we'll have officially done better than we ever have before and we'll get a couple shells out of it if we just spend our tickets, which I definitely will spend tickets for shells, rainbow shells at the least. Normal seashore shells, maybe not, but that's not what we're talking about. Okay, we're getting really beat up though. Really beat up, holy cow. Okay, Venusaur, I need you to hold on tight. You did not hold on tight. So we still have yet to beat these guys before in this level. They always show up in round three every time. It's like a guarantee and it's a stinky guarantee. Like the opposite kind of guarantee you want. Usually you want like a your money back guarantee. This is a you're gonna get beat up guarantee. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the Aurora Veil on you as soon as we can and then you just back down to being low on health. These guys just can't handle it as much. I mean, the only good thing about it is that there's so much more room to improve with the Hydro Pump and all the levels we can get for Venusaur so we can get that one last uh, stone slot, which is gonna take a lot of work to be honest with you. Because we get 15 levels to get to there, which is why it might be good to get some Bulbasaurs and just level them up that way as well. But at least we can get them back up to full with this whenever uh, we do this. But we definitely need that third person, Starmie at the moment, to really be a hard hitter and right now, not that much of a hard hitter, so. That's sort of a problem. Like even though Starmie has a lot of damage, we can't do this because you're paralyzed. Come on, come on, come on. Hit the Vine Whip, please hit the Vine Whip. Nope, it went on cooldown and you didn't do anything. So chances are things aren't gonna work out here, but we're trying our darndest. Okay, so you hit the Vine Whip that time. None of them are particularly low, which is unfortunate. It would be great if we could take out at least one of them, see if we can't get any rainbow shells that way. But the chances are low. So this is sort of deja vu for us. We've dealt with this in the past. Especially with the Pokemon just sort of going crazy and doing whatever they want when we fight legendary Pokemon. Oh my gosh, Zapdos and Articuno. Well, more Zapdos than anybody is really low. Like, we might be able to get him here. Come on, land the Vine Whip, you dingus! Come on, does anybody hit him? Anybody? Yeah, we got one! Finally, we've never even defeated one of them in this sequence before. And it didn't get us anything major, but it's still exciting. The chances of us beating all three of them, though, or even one more of them is very low. But we tried, we tried, and that's awesome. So let's keep moving. Because usually when we fight these guys throughout the other pieces of World 12, we end up getting uh, just one-on-one -on -one battles with these uh, legendaries. So it's usually not as crazy. If Venusaur could not get frozen and land like a mega crit, that'd be so cool. Because sometimes he does land some crazy crits. But it ain't gonna happen this time. We have seven seconds left. We might be able to defeat one more of them if uh, Venusaur could get his act together. But it looks like that's gonna be about it. Well, we tried our best. Not bad though, like once again, if it wasn't for the clock, we would win. Like that's just sort of how it works, is that's, that's the challenge. So we're gonna go ahead and spend the 30 tickets, of course, so we can get two rainbow shells, maybe even a really powerful strength stone. And level 95 as Starmie is pretty good to see. Um, but yeah, we're working for a health stone there and a health stone here, which is honestly not too bad. They could always use some more health. 918 isn't bad. It's sort of average for what we're looking for at this moment, so. I'll gladly take it. So, uh, yeah, there's that one done. Uh, but we're not gonna push with that any farther. We're gonna go back to 12-8. We know we can defeat this one, so we'll just keep at that and sort of see if we can't do any better. I would hope so. You know, if we keep working, we can eventually get to what we're looking for. But this is about finding the right Pokemon at the right time. And I think we can eventually do that. So, get back to twistering. Yeah, 12 8 wasn't a challenge too much last time, even with the Eevee, which is one of the more powerful boss fights you can run into. So if we could run into something like a legendary Pokemon, I'm really not too worried about us defeating it, you know? And I'm pretty sure the ones that give us a lot of bird Pokemon at first are the ones that have legendary sometimes. I mean, I think any of them can, really. It's just sort of this like rare chance. 
course. So one of these guys is disabling our moves, so I don't like that very much. Can you just land fine whip on one of them, take him out super easy? That's nice. Come on, come on. So you just disabled Venusaur again. But hey, it's fine. It's totally fine. What do we got here? More wild Pokemon, land the Twister on them. This is still disabled, so just do tackle. I guess I should have waited a second, I would have been fine. Oh, we almost got fine with though. So everything was fine regardless. I mean, I actually didn't do much damage, a little concerning. Come on now, ready? Fine whip, Twister. That sort of landed, they did like a 4,000 crit, which is pretty good for that Twister. I like it, okay, that got him. Very nice, getting a lot of blueberries for that one. We already have a lot of those materials, I'm not really too worried about that. Worried about the bigger materials that really make a big difference at this rate. Okay, so let's do fine whip on this yo-yo guy. If I could, it's not doing anything. Probably already did it all on his own. Come on, there goes that guy. First two waves done really well. Three and a half minutes, which is a lot of time. Twister. So this guy, Alkazam, can be tough to go against, especially with all of his uh, Kadabra friends. So just gotta be careful. Ready? Get the Roar Bell back on and boom, hit him. Definitely focusing on the bigger, bigger guy is not that bad of a strategy. Because uh, you know, once again, the Venusaur did uh, Vine Whip all on his own. Doesn't even activate the cooldown because of that. Okay, that time I did it and I actually landed, which is good. Come on. I just love how low cooldown Vine Whip is. It's like the most helpful thing ever. Where are you going, you coward? Come on. That was all right. Keep moving, keep moving. Ooh. That was okay. What else do we got? One more hit on him. One more hit. One more hit. You got it. Yay. Good job. Okay. Woo. Look at all those big materials. I love it. Oh, no. No. I came into this with so much confidence, but now it might shatter. Snorlax, which we just got to get lucky and hope that he attacks us instead of sleeping, because if he just sleeps the whole time, it's game over. The best thing we could do is maybe run away. Like, that sort of made him attack last time. So maybe if we all run away when he's sleeping, you're like, hey, come back, I wanna fight. I was like, well, we're not gonna fight you if you're sleeping, so wake up. And you're like, okay, I'm awake, let's play. Okay, and he's back to sleeping. Stop it, <laughs> you fiend. Yeah, that's sort of the thing, it's like we just attacked him for two minutes and eventually he just decided to start attacking for no reason. And we just gotta hope that happens, which is a shame, that's not how it should work. You know, it's just weird. Okay, he's actually attacking, I think. No, he's just preparing to sleep again. Jeez, dude. We're just gonna run away. Ah, oh, it's so scary, he knows how to sleep. I did not do that fine whip, by the way, that was baloney. Come on, please, please. Don't go back to sleep. Please don't, he's wiggling around because he's going back to sleep. I don't like it. Come on, move back. Oh boy, it doesn't really do too much in this situation, I suppose. If we do it when he wakes up. I mean, he's just gonna prepare to sleep again, isn't he? Prepare to sleep. Yeah, he's about to go back to sleep. Why? Why would they make a boss fight like this? It's not fun to deal with. Uh, Go ahead and hit that. Oh boy, I, just, I don't know what to do about this in this situation. It's a total mess. Come on, we're down to a minute left. If he sleeps at all, we're done. And there he goes. Ah, oh, this is such a pain. This is such a bad boss fight. Cause like all you can really do is like have a Pokemon that happens to have confusion or something or paralyzation. Which is like, why? I don't want that. I want to be able to have the team that's gonna work for me in literally every other situation except for this specific one. Don't go back to sleep. Don't go back to sleep. Such, you're so disappointing me right now, Snorlax. Well, I guess your goal wasn't to please me, was it? You wouldn't have been beating up my team in the first place if that was the case. This stinks. <laughs> Like, if he goes to sleep at all for the rest of this, it's done, it's over, we've lost. I mean, we still might lose even then, but he's about to go back to sleep again, so it's over. Like, what a waste of time! Get out of here, you jerk! You know, I'm just like, I'm not even gonna bother, we're just gonna leave. Goodbye, see ya. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> what we do about this. Like, he's like, hey, wait, wait, are you guys gonna go? Yeah, we're gonna go, because he wasted all of our time. He's like, okay, I'm going back to sleep. Oh my gosh. So, uh, time's up, unfortunately. We didn't get anything I really think I need to spend 30 tickets on there. That could be another 700 damage stone, so I'm really not 
you know, begging for it. So we're just gonna keep moving. That should be four rounds though, right? Or is that three? It might just be three. Might have to go one more. Hopefully this one will be a little bit luckier because we've been, that expedition bonus has been waiting for us for a while now. Can we please get it? That'd be great. So, uh, Aurora Veil. Vale. Now this is usually a bit more difficult. When we have all these coughings and stuff, usually that means some self-destruct's gonna go on, so if I could just try to take care of as many of them as possible, that'd be fantastic. We already got rid of one of them. Vine Whip, maybe. Now this is usually not an area legendary Pokemon show up too often, so I'm not expecting it. Got the Twister. Uh, Nice, 10,000 damage with that one. I like it. Okay, so we're doing a good job getting rid of some of them. We're getting some Bomb Mushrooms as well. So some of you have been asking me for advice on how to get more materials of a specific kind, and my biggest suggestion for that one is to save up your tickets and to buy um, the, what's it called? The different uh, decorations. You know, the different you know pieces of couches and things you can decorate your camp with. And why that is, is because those stuff, depending on which ones you buy, can give you a higher chance of getting certain materials or get more of those materials on average in general. So you'll be getting way more materials just every run. So make sure you're saving up your tickets for those first and foremost. You know, have a little patience. Don't spend all of your tickets on your cooking pots or anything like that. Make sure you're managing your inventory well so you're not spending a ton of tickets on things like you're uh, expanding your boxes. So just like that kind of stuff, try to get a good balance with and sort of see what ends up working for you. And of course, the more you do it, the easier it'll get. Make sure you sign in every day so you get the tickets that way. That's the best way to get more materials, is to get those decorations that are gonna give you more materials per run. So you can make it so you can get more in a lower amount of time. At this point, like, there's only certain materials I worry about, and that's mostly the rainbow shells. And if I just spent more time grinding, I'd have more uh, materials and I would probably know what to do with. It's just a matter of if I don't usually have that much time, but if you're really into it, I'm sure you can find the time to, uh, dedicate to uh, just earning them up. Cause like I don't spend too much time on this game outside of recording it. I spend a little bit of time just so that we can make sure we're getting some stuff done so we have some cooking pots to check out. But I only do like four or five rounds between episodes at most. Cause I just don't have the time to play games outside of recording them a lot of the time. It's fantastic for Pokemon Quest because the game will literally play itself. And I wish more games did that sort of kind of because it's so convenient. Okay, he's almost down to stack on. Didn't even need to. Okay, so we got a lot of blueberries, a lot of fossils, and we got our double boss fight, which really shouldn't be too bad. Hmm, let's do Vine Whip, and then we'll do Twister, ready? Nice stuff. Okay, so we shouldn't need Aurora Veil for too long, but I'll put the, that there, that way she can focus a little bit more on attacking. I don't know if I should start looking for a replacement for Jinx, maybe something that gives that protection, but then also on top of that, maybe has like one attack, that way when we're waiting for the Aurora Veil as it's ticking down, she can actually have some kind of attack. Like right now she just has the Aurora Veil and then like, you know, full upgrade slots for it, which can be useful, but I don't think it's entirely necessary. I think we could get away with two upgrade slots and then working with something else as well, you know? So we should be able to defeat these bosses pretty easily. These guys are always pretty easy as a setup. So we should just be able to continue focusing on you and just take you out one way or another. Venusaur can't figure out how to focus on though. There we go. So now we just gotta twister you, which is okay damage to say the least, or I guess to say the most. I don't know, hard to say with that one. Come on, we almost got you, we almost got you, and boop! There we go, defeated the bosses, not really that bad. So what do we get? We get a whole bunch of different materials and we get that golden damage stone. Let's hope that's a good one. 900 plus damage or something. That'd be really good right now. Almost level 86 for Venusaur. Hit healing 2.3, 954 damage. And that's the kind of stone I'm looking for. Thank you. Oh, that was amazing. So there is that done. And that means we got our three golden cookie pots open and ready to go or ready to be opened and then ready to go, which will be awesome. So give me that stuff. First off, we had this one. And it has, the, this is the blue soda. So we should have a blue, red, and yellow one. Oh, okay, Pokemon there, Nidoran, and a Tentacool. We'll, we'll use them for leveling for something. Or we could use those for Starmie if we wanted to really badly. Uh, like, you have Whirlpool. I don't think I need you too much. Well, I mean, I guess we shouldn't use you for level up training, for uh, or the, the move training. But it's a Nidoran, which is pretty nice. And then if we move over to the cooking pot to the left, we got a red one. So for reddish Pokemon. 
and it's an it's it is a Vulpix. I was gonna say nine tails, but that's what it evolves into. So we've been getting a couple of Vulpixes recently. Not bad, as you can see. You have what? Uh, Ember and Flame Charge doesn't seem too bad actually. I could keep that in mind. Um, and if we move over this way, we have. The yellow one. So the yellow one's probably just gonna have Abra, but if we're lucky, it might have something better. Oh, hey, it's a Bell Sprout. Well, we don't need it for Bell Sprout. But cool, I'll keep it in my level 95. Oh, you don't have any room. Oh my. Okay, so I was waiting for the situation anyways. Let's go ahead and train up some Pokemon. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is we really need Starmie to get something. So we have our horsey over this way, and as we take a look at this horsey, it's not shiny, it has one. It just has Whirlpool, which isn't that great of a move. And it has okay bingo bonuses, but nothing to die for. So we're just going to go ahead and throw this in here and see what we can end up getting and seeing if, like the problem is if this messes up and this isn't Hydro Pump or it's something that's just simply worse, it might end up being um, it might end up putting Starmie on the sidelines for a little bit, which would be a pain, but it's sort of our best bet. And as we can see, what is it gonna turn into? Uh, Confuse Ray. And that's exactly what I mean, not really what I was looking for. Same thing with this tentacle, not a shiny. So let's just make sure uh, everything else about it isn't, once again, to die for. You also have Whirlpool, which isn't the best to have a triple slot for. Water type moves weight, once again, nothing crazy. So you could just go ahead and, uh, Level up train this tentacle, and what do we get for it? It's a 100% chan chance, because I think it's the same thing. Oh yeah, I gotta choose to move. I definitely don't want Confuse Ray. It's just not very helpful. Uh, but we'll give this a shot. We'll see what ends up happening. Please let it be Hydro Pump. Ah, oh, it's Whirlpool. No wait, no, it's Hydro Pump. Seriously? Okay, it has the same icon as Whirlpool. <laughs> let me take a look, let me double check that. Hydro Pump, look at that, just took two shots. The user shoots four pillars of water up from the ground and sends them out in front of itself. Deals damage to enemies hit by them. Very cool. So obviously it only has a couple of options when it comes to the upgrade stones, the uh, weightless, whack whack, and broad. So we're gonna go ahead and do some of those. I think having the broad on there will be pretty helpful. If you guys have any suggestions on which specific stones I should put, let me know. But I think uh, a broad and then double weightless will probably be good enough. We'll give this a shot, see how that ends up working out. And that might just be everything just cut out for us. Like everything might be good from here, who knows? I have to try and sort of see what ends up going on. We have that brand new hit healing stone that might add a lot of damage to Starmie, so I think that's something we'll try. But if we take a look at that move one more time, what was his damage? I never checked the damage of our uh, one move that we did have. This is 213, which really doesn't seem too crazy, but maybe it's just about how it lands. Uh, I'm not really sure. If we take a look, who else had Twister? I think that um, our Seedra, not this Seedra though, right? I mean, maybe this Seedra. What level are you? You're level 99, right? So you had Twister as well. That's 115. So actually, it's twice as good as what we currently or what we previously had. I mean, of course, with Twister, it's very spread out, but it was so spread out and so little damage at the point where it wasn't too effective. So maybe this is like the calling we needed. This is what we're going to need and have now to destroy the rest of the game. We have this Bell Sprout hanging out. Let's go ahead and just activate you really quickly. Level 95, we have room for you now, 99 out of 100. So we gotta make sure that we make more room for Pokemon before we open up this another this other cooking pot. So let's hope that turns out nice and fine. For now though, we'll just auto set. Don't really care what it is as long as I'm not missing out on rainbow material. One more time. Oh my gosh, it really likes rainbow. We'll try this out, we'll see what ends up happening. I do need to get rid of fossils, so we might do that right now. It's just gonna be an Onyx, or like a Geodude or something, which I don't need, but we can use it straight for level up training, which is always good. Uh, you can tell that we're running out of space for all of our basic materials again. Got it? And I'm suddenly really in the mood for Oreos. Oh my gosh, that hit me. Just like, Oreos. I haven't had Oreos in years. Why do I want Oreos so bad? I don't know. I usually don't eat snack food. <laughs> all right, it's passing, it's passing. Um. <laughs> that was really weird. Okay, this is what happens when I think aloud for a living. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our quests and see what else we got. We got the big root and let's head out of here. We're gonna go one more round. Actually, we're gonna go at least three more rounds and see what ends up happening, but I'm excited to see. Will this hydro pump really make a difference? Will it live up to the hype or is it not that great? We're gonna find out. Uh, level 12, eight sounds good to me. We'll try this one out first. 
and then we'll keep moving with some other stuff as well. But for now, this should turn out pretty good, right? I would hope so. I mean, with every, how everybody was talking about it, let's just immediately Hydro Pump. Okay, so it definitely is not easy to land, but ooh, it hits a lot. Like, it throws out more than I thought it would. Okay, that's a big perk then. Because I don't think it's 200 something damage accumulatively, it's 200 damage with each of those. I mean, that multiplied by however much damage we have with our um, base character and all those damage stones and stuff, you know? Oh, that's pretty good, it sort of veers towards him. That could turn out amazing. Okay, so we're getting through this right now with not too much of a scratch. I never actually put that higher level damage stone on, so I'll have to keep that in mind even more, which is fine with me. Uh, so we got these guys, boom, Hydro Pump them. Okay, so when they're too close, it is hard to land the Hydro Pump, so we do need to be a little bit preemptive um, and just sort of be ready for it, but the low cooldown that we have for the double weight stone is actually really, really worth it because we can just throw it out a lot. Elvis, it has just about the same cooldown as Divine Whip, and I'd say overall it does the same amount of damage. If we could get this well focused on a boss, it's gonna destroy, so I like that a lot. Okay, so we wanna like probably back up a little bit, but it's sort of a bad position for that, so we'll just land what we can. Um, but for these bigger targets, it's well worth it. So I can definitely see why people are recommending it. Let's go ahead and do Hydro Pump. And he does at least back up a little bit, but I forgot to do the Vine Whip, so he got beat up. That's bad. So we're doing some good things and some bad things. But this is the thing, it's like Venusaur gets taken out and it's not GG because of it. And that's nice. So go ahead and beat you up a little bit, dude. Got some damage on you. Already got two Power Stones, so once we defeat this boss, it'll be our third one. And then immediately Vine Whip. Immediately Vine Whip, thank you. Okay, that was great. Oh, and he's gone already. Yeah, Poly Wrath, Poliwag is really tough to deal with. He's just a tough character. Um, especially in 12-8 and stuff, because he has his charge up move that does like a ton of damage. Back up, everybody back up, run. You ran into the wall, dude. Don't get taken out by that, thank you. Come on, just beat him up, and then Vine Whip him. That was pretty decent. That's also a nice combo with how it backs him up. So I like it. I am really happy with this team now. I was already pretty decently happy with look at the Blastoise. Um, but now it's definitely better. So let's go ahead and do Vine Whip, Hydro Pump. We gotta do like Hydro Pump like really early on. If not, it's not gonna land. I don't think it's gonna be fully effective. It feels like Venusaur's having more of a problem than usual. Go ahead and do that. Land that fine whip. That did okay. So we have two and a half minutes to defeat this boss. I think that's gonna be fine. Okay, so uh, Venusaur got rid of that guy. When Starmie gets overwhelmed, it definitely isn't helping. <laughs> but overall, I think he's doing great. Especially with that low cooldown, that really does change things up in a big way. Got that fine with 20,000 damage. I wish we could have actually landed that on Blastoise. That would have been a big game changer. But we're defeating him. Like 12-8, this is not that bad. Okay, come on. And you know, it's just like 9,000, 10,000. That's pretty good because it's a consistent landing move. Looks like he's using Hydro Pump as well. Come on, ooh, 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 ho, 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 ho. The damage is really nice with that. Come on, just one last fine whip. Got him. Okay, that was easy. Level 12, eight was easy. Crazy stuff. We just had this perfectly well-balanced team now. I mean, not perfectly, I'm sure it could be better and I'm always gonna look for that. But in the meantime, boom, level 86 for you, gonna give you a little bit more health eventually if we can get 14 more levels. And that's where things can improve. So we got a 927, which is good. The other stuff is pretty meh. But with that, we should try it. Can we get to the end? The boss fight, 36,500. I mean, we've tried it in the past and it wasn't perfect. We've tried it many times in the past. But could we get past maybe just the three legendary birds with this? That'd be pretty crazy. So we have the hydro pump. We're gonna throw this out. And luckily there aren't too many obstacles that you run into in this map. So I feel like this might be one of the best maps for hydro pump. So we'll try it out and see what ends up happening. The Gyarados is already down to half health, which is definitely better than the last time we tried. We tried the uh, psychic move. We actually missed. We landed 17,000 damage uh, critical too with one of the hydro pumps. Land that. Okay, that was scary. He was about to get taken out, which is not something we want so early on. Oh my gosh, come on, land it, land it. Good job, good job. So they're both pretty low, but they're sort of juggling us, which I don't like. Hydro pump, fine whip. Oh, he's so low. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, good job, good job. And we get the rainbow shells. Oh, that brings a tear to my eye. That was the second time he's given us rainbow shells, the uh, hydro pump, uh, not the hydro pump, but the, uh, the Gyarados. Okay, come on, he's almost down. Just take him out, whatever way you need to. There we go, right? <laughs> I don't wanna have to use moves on this, guys. There we go. Beedrill's taking out, we have four minutes left. Okay, this is an interesting combo. Porygon and Chansey, I think? 
Usually you don't see this combo too often. Come on, land that fine one, that was perfect. Get that Hydro Pump out. Just like that, he is a little bit separated, which is nice. Oh, the damage we just landed on the Porygon because of the, the critted, both the Vine Whip and the Hydro Pump. Landed a crit there, that was crazy. So much damage going out. This is definitely difficult for sure. It hasn't gotten any easier, but we're, we're sort of keeping up, I feel like in a much better way. Usually we already have a character that gets taken out at this rate, or very close to it, which we've had sort of something close to it, but it wasn't really the same, I don't think. Come on, you're about to explode or something, aren't you? Yeah, you threw your eggs at us, which I don't appreciate. Those eggs, there's babies in there. Stop it, it's awful. Come on, Hydro Pump, get rid of this dude. Okay, almost there, beat you up. 5,000 damage there, good job, good job. Do I have to, you know what, just do that. I did not tell you to do Hydro Pump. You can see that for yourself. Rewind the video, I did not select Hydro Pump over here. Okay, so we got these jerks. They beat us up all the time, but we're not gonna let it happen this time because we have some good area of effect moves that actually do some good damage as well. I mean, hopefully, if everybody doesn't just get constantly paralyzed and frozen. Oh no, this is why we really need that health bust. Bo bust? Uh, boost. There we go, come on, come on. So we're doing okay though, we're, we have two and a half minutes, which, I mean, I shouldn't you know, downplay that. We're gonna need every single second of it. But uh, go ahead and land that. That got your health back up to full. Starmie's doing just fine though. Come on, come on, come on. I need you to land Vine Whip right away because if not, you're gonna run out of health and you run out of health anyways. And then of course, Hydro Pump is, uh, I guess you're just frozen in general, aren't you? Come on, come on, come on. But we're definitely holding our own a lot better now. Like way better. We still have two minutes left. We could do this as long as our Pokemon aren't silly. Like really next level silly, kind of silly. Like Zapdos is almost down. Come on, Hydro Pump. I don't even know where Starmie is. Starmie's just paralyzed somewhere. I'm so sorry, buddy. Don't need to be de demanding so much from you. Hydro Pump, please, thank you. Okay, we defeated one of them, nice, okay. So we've, we haven't gotten any shells from them though. Okay, we got another Hydro Pump. Do the Vine Whip. Oh, Moltres is almost down. We're, we can do this right now. This is happening. Hydro Pump. Come on, boom. Oh my gosh, it's actually working. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just do another good vine whip. That got you. Oh my gosh, it was beautiful. No more shells for that one. <gasps> it's Mewtwo. Oh, let's get to him. Strong looking Pokemon alert. Oh my gosh, you can say that again. Strong looking Pokemon, strong feeling Pokemon. That hurt. We got a minute left to take him out and it's just Starmie. Oh, that's not quite gonna work. This is the farthest we made it though, so it's really exciting non nonetheless. But when it's just one unit like this, which we haven't seen too much, uh, it's just his attack is so fast as well, and we have a long time to go before uh, Jinx comes back, but we're landing the damage on him. He's almost halfway down. We could still win this. Come on, find what, find what, find what. Got it, back up the full for you. It definitely doesn't do as much. Oh gosh, that's gonna hurt, isn't it? Please just land the Aurora Bell. Okay, you gotta on Starmie at the least. That's something. 37 seconds to beat this guy. Can we do it? Come on, Starmie. You gotta hold on tight, buddy. Dodge that, please. Ah! Oh, no, you're fine. Didn't do much damage at all. 28 seconds out. Now we're just a race against the clock. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was okay. And you landed some damage, which is always good. Come on, come on. Hydro pump, hydro pump, hydro pump. Vine whip, fine whip, fine whip. Oh, he's so low. We beat him. Mewtwo. You're going down for the second time, buddy. Wow. A hundred materials, which is pretty standard. <laughs> I'm just so excited we did it. Wow. Okay, so it wasn't very much experience, so I gotta be honest. We got 835 damage stone, two rainbow things, but what do we do now? Like that's like, seriously, the, the first time we've ever done that. And nothing really came of it. Weird, I was actually expecting like maybe like a little cutscene or like text or something. Well, there we go, we've technically completed World 12. I thought something a little more special was gonna happen, I gotta be honest. Maybe we'll got like a quest reward or something, because we definitely have something here. Uh, Happenstance Island boss, we get 100 PM tickets, not too bad. Huh, I was, I was honestly expecting a tiny bit more, but that's okay, it happens. We could always go back at it and try to uh, complete it again. Might do that on my own time. That was pretty cool though. We're only one game away though from whatever this legendary Pokemon's gonna be, so you better bet I'm gonna go for it. 
Um, I mean, at this point, I'm tempted to just open it next episode. Like, so much action has happened in today's episode. What more can I do, you know? What more could I do? I mean, I could open that cooking pot, but we could save that for next episode and have more excitement. I don't know. Or maybe I could just earn up more between episodes, you know. Lots of stuff, but we did it, we completed that world. I wanna to keep to this though, because I feel like you still have a higher chance of getting more consistent shells. I don't know though, maybe I'm totally wrong with that. Maybe we should stick to 1210, but it felt like you know we got very lucky we didn't die. Um, so I just wanna to keep to this where we have a higher chance of winning every time, um, because I think that's going to consistently be more beneficial. So for right now, fine whip. Very nice, so everybody's getting taken out. Uh, we got wild Pokemon coming in this way. This is turning out really nicely though. So thank you to everybody who suggested a Hydro Pump with Starmie. It has been a dream come true with how much damage it does. It really is worth it. It has been making a huge difference. It's just a good move overall. I mean, I still like having Venusaur and Jinx. I feel like maybe Jinx at some point can be either fine-tuned or maybe just replaced altogether. I'm not really sure. We're just getting materials the left and right though. This is an easy way to earn up some materials. All right, so we're already done the first two waves. We got some rainbow material as well. Go ahead and do Vine Whip. Got it, Hydro Pump. Cause Jinx was getting taken out a lot. I mean, I don't really know if there's too much more we can do about that except for just put more health stones on her and make her more resistance to negative effects, you know? So we'll have to wait and see, time will tell. But as of right now, we have technically defeated the, the final level of the game, the most difficult level of the game. I mean, I was sort of expecting something more though. I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping that like, like, oh, you defeated me for a second time. You're a jerk. And I like, I didn't have to be anything special. But the fact that we did it, we, we defeated Happenstance Island. It's great that we got 100 PM tickets. I was expecting a tiny bit more beyond that. Oh well though. You know, I'm still having fun with the game. We still have so much more to do. We want to complete that Pokedex, right? So that's something I'm gonna try to get to now. And we're already dealing with the boss. Three minutes for this boss. It's just Vile Plume, Victory Bell. So nothing exciting, but. At least we'll get something done and then we'll have a legendary Pokemon waiting for us, right? Hopefully it won't be Mewtwo again, but even if it is Mewtwo again, that's still pretty cool, right? I would hope so. Okay, so let's do Vine Whip on one of these dudes. Got it. But yeah, we're, we're, I'm just gonna be hoping. I don't know what's happening to Hydro Pump. It's broken, which is a shame. Maybe if we make them run, there it goes. Not broken anymore. It was though. That's sort of risky when it is broken. We might not be able to survive without that. We need it. Uh, Vine Whip. Get another Hydro Pump out. Just like that. I love it though, it's awesome. Come on, hit. There we go. Venusaur is almost taken out. That was scary. Seems like I think Vile Plume hits pretty hard though. Last time we get one against these two, uh, Vile Plume took out Venusaur. Got you. Okay, there's that boss down. Just gotta focus on you, which shouldn't be too bad at all. And got you. So we destroyed that boss fight in all fronts. Two minutes remaining. That's definitely our best time ever. We got a couple of rainbow materials and a bronze health stone. Hopefully has over 900 health. We're about to find out. Uh, got a tiny bit more. Oh, that was way more experience. Why was that way more experience than what we ended up getting for the boss fight? Makes me feel like I did something wrong. I don't know. But that was definitely our best time ever. But more importantly, we are gonna wrap up today's episode by getting ourselves another legendary Pokemon. Which one is it gonna be? We're gonna find out together. Hopefully something good. Ambrosia of legends on a cube, a whole lot of mystical things. Come on. Oh, it's huge. Is that what I think it is? Oh, ho, 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 it is Zapdos. I, he's gigantic. I mean, I know they were larger, but I thought that was sort of because, you know, they were sort of like mini bosses, you know? But oh my gosh, we got him, Zapdos, a flying electric type, one of the three legendary bird type Pokemon. That is so cool. If we take a look at our Pokedex now, 137 out of 150, and we take a look all the way back this way, where are you, buddy? I think, yep, you're right here. He looks like an angry little chicken. So this and this are probably spots for the other legendary birds. That is so exciting. Oh my gosh, we finally got one. Look at how cool you are. That is so exciting. Where are they use you in a game soon? But for now, I do have 10 more. So I should be able to go one, two, and of course, three. And guess what? We'll check that out, whatever it might be in the next episode. So if you want to see more legendary Pokemon being uh, attracted by our wonderful mystical cooking, you better check out next episode. But for now, I think that's going to wrap it up. We'll just go ahead and check and see if we got any bonus quest stuff. 
in our challenges. We got um, Exapdos, your buddy. Very cool. So with all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Pokemon Quest. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment and zap those zebras. Only so you've watched at the end of you're a zebra tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the zebra herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.